NAOH, it's giving NA2 so for process two. All right, awesome. Okay, you can start doing that then. Oh, sorry. Um, there's an issue here. Hello, can you hear me? Yes, sir. Ah, uh, remember this is five hundred centimeter cube. You need to make it up to DM cube. Remember? Yes. It is not gram per DM cube, so you have to make it up. You did not. If you if you miss it in that area, everything that you're doing is wrong already. So you have to get it in this area. This is 500 centimeter cube. You have to make it up to 1000 centimeter cube, which is one DM cube. So if we have three in 500, how many do we have in 1000? Wow, like seriously, I am so happy. I'm so happy for this. Wow. Well, I know. Um, I know definitely you. <laughs> um, you're still well, I'm proud of you for this. I'm really, really proud. Okay, so number three. Um, come in, come in. Wow, I'm really, really glad for this. You did this, okay? Change this to. All right, move. I'm happy for your units. You kept to your units. You kept to your decimal points, and that was awesome. All right, I would have to. Um, Let's do the second one. Let me get a question for the second one now. Okay, this is the question. A is diluted trans surface six acid. Remember your okay, yeah, you have the question, the equation here. Oh, 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 oh. Are you sure we didn't make a mistake in the previous one? I just discovered now. You see, we did not write the. <laughs> you see, we just I just discovered something because we didn't write the the. We didn't write the equation. You know. Number of acid is not one. I hope you know that number of base is not one. This is the equation of the reaction, right? Okay, number of acid is one, but number of base is two. Can you see that? Did you see that now? <laughs> yeah. So if we had to go back to this question, the only thing that was wrong there, thank God it's not going to affect this part. It's only going to affect this part here. So the number of base here will be two. This one will be out of it. So this one will be out of it and it will be two. All right, so it's going to, it's going to just affect your concentration of base here. And not just concentration of base, it's also gonna affect your number four answer. Did you see that? Yes. Okay. So would you correct it? Yes.
Okay, you're done now, right? Yes. Sir. Okay, four point nine seven. Awesome. Don't worry. When it's your first time of doing things like this, you yeah, you will make these kind of mistakes. But as we keep doing that, the mistakes will be reduced. Okay. If that's the case, um, this will be m mole per dm cube. All right. All things being equal, let's go to the next one, number two now. Okay, so number two. Sorry, do you still have the question? Do you still have the question so I can open another page for you? No. Okay. Um, wait. Okay, you can continue solving here. Do you know how to calculate number of hydrogen ions? Sorry? No. Okay, okay. Uh, don't worry, let me do that. Let me do that. I have not done that before, actually. We haven't done that, but uh, uh, but you remember basicity of acid, right? Yes. When you remember basicity of acid, we are only consigned with H2SO4. We are not consigned with others. 
So can you, you know, basis of acid, um, that's a number of irreplaceable hydrogen ion, a replaceable hydrogen ion. So um, can you do the basicity of H2SO4? That's when acid dissolves in water. Remember, we said an acid is a substance that produces hydrogen ion as the only positive ion when it dissolves in water. So that means you would have to um, give me the equation of H2SO4 when it dissociates in water. When it dissociates. The density of H2SO4 is two. Sorry? The density of H2SO4 is two. It's two also. So if that's the case, that means we, are, we should be having something like this, H2SO4, then it's a reversible reaction. So we should be having something like this, H plus, plus SO4, two minus. Now, because of that, what this means now is um, in order to get the number of hydrogen ion, this becomes two multiplied by 0 0.1, that's 0 0.121 multiplied by Avogadro's constant, which is 6.02 times 10 raised to the power 23. Now, what would this give us? Okay, what's it going to give us? So with this basis, you can you can solve any question on um, titration, except the one that has to do with them. Uh, there are other forms of titration questions, which has to do with um, atomic mass, which has to do with atomic mass number one, water of crystallization. We would there is really no time to go on that, but this is the basis. If you can understand this one, then um, you, if you can understand this one, then it becomes very easy for you to do the others, for you to do the other ones. The other ones just, they are just questions, just the way we have this, uh, we had this number of hydrogen ions. They might just have to embed it into a question. But what we have just done now is the foundation. Probably when next you come, um, when next you come, that's if you've not treated titration, even if you've treated it, when next you come, we would see how to 
pick it up from there. So do you have any question, please? No. Um, let's see. Um, let's see. The next topic we have more, it's, um, the next topic we have is just water and that's quite easy but we've done the other things that looks a bit difficult so um father we thank you for today thank you for your message thank you for your love we give you praise for everything you've done be thou exalted be glorified in the name of jesus Lord, I ask for wisdom. I ask for understanding upon your daughter, even as she goes to school. I ask for preservation. You protect her, let your blessings rest upon her. And everything we've done, I ask and pray for understanding in the name of Jesus. Amen. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. Um, so